Hey everybody, Brad here and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Gator GT Transit Series Gig Bag for Bass Guitar. And let's get to it. Today we're going to take a look at the Gator Transit Series Gig Bag for Bass Guitar. A little backstory on this I've been playing bass a little bit more lately and I needed something to transport my bass around and I had a gig bag that just wasn't happy with it didn't offer a lot of protection so I ordered a Gator series soft side case uh, which came in and it was quite large um, it offered plenty of protection, but it wasn't easy to carry around, even though it was lighter than what a hard shell, typical hard shell case would be. So I did a return and the wonderful folks at American Musical Supply were great enough to uh, make a very easy return. And I uh, did a little research and picked up the Transit Series gig bag. Um, so you can see this is because it is for base, it's a little bit bigger. Uh, it's a nice ballistic nylon. Uh, they call this uh, charcoal. So it's a nice, uh, pretty nice color. Very sturdy looking. Soft sides, but pretty tough. Uh, 20 millimeter foam. So it's pretty thick. Uh, we'll take a look at some of the features on it. We've got a small flap up here at the top, little pocket. Uh, not a whole lot can go in there, um, but I'll probably put some batteries in there since uh, what I have is an active base. So it'll make them you know, kind of easy to get to. Uh, you've got plenty of hook and loop fasteners all over the, uh, get this up here, all over the front uh, and a couple on the back as well. We've got a uh, nice pouch here in the front, very large. It's got this um, kind of a, a hook type, almost like a seatbelt looking uh, closure for the flap. Uh, additional pocket here on the front, felt line, so you could put something in there that uh, needs uh, some extra protection. It's got a large, large zipper flap. Uh, plenty of room in there and depending on how much you have in the front depends on where you're going to hook the buckle up on the outside to allow for expansion. Um, we've got a nice sturdy molded very thick padded handle. Um, Nice sturdy rivets holding the handle on. And if we flip it around, we've got extra handle here on the back to uh, easily pick it up and grab it. And uh, you notice you don't see the straps. Uh, it is. It does have backpack straps. It's not easy to say either. Backpack straps. Um, and they're. What's nice is they're stowed here on the back just hit this little zipper here and you can pull the straps out they attach down here on the bottom and uh, nice padded pretty thick padded I uh, got some comfort comfort foam on the back um, the first impression the one thing that I don't like uh, we've got a nylon plastic buckle and nylon hook with the uh, spring clip. So I'm not a fan of the of spring clips on there, uh, not spring clips, but sorry, uh, but plastic clips. Um, we'll see how this holds up. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, it's not something you want to let loose. Uh, the one nice thing on it, it does say it has a lifetime guarantee. Uh, the company is headquarters right here in Tampa. So I would imagine that if I have a problem, it would be easy to uh, get a resolution. Um, it's, 
got the double, sorry, double zipper on it. Uh, pretty sturdy, not sturdy nylon zipper. On the inside, we talked about the uh, the 20 millimeter thick foam, so you can see the sides are they're kind of rigid. It's got good foam in there. We've got a pad in the. Oops, get it in front of the camera there. Let's try this again. Yeah. Try this part again. All right. We've got a thick pad here in the bottom. A nice removable and movable uh, neck neck pocket pad, as well as for the headstock. Uh, you can remove both the upper and lower pads. Uh, the nice thing is it'll fit a lot of different size bases. Yeah, mine is a uh, Music Man Sterling by Music Man sub base. So the headstock on it is a little bit shorter than your typical fender with four in a row. So the nice thing with this pad in here is it doesn't allow it to flop around between that and the pad on the bottom by the way if you want to see a review on this let me know um, we'll probably post some uh, sound clips a little bit later and uh, so we can check that out as well um, like i said very thick padding uh, it's got this nice bumper pad on the bottom there we go yeah. help protect it when you're setting it down on the ground yeah. it's got a couple nylon pads up here where the string trees would be down on the bottom where the bridge is as well as where the end pin goes down on the bottom like I said pretty sturdy zippers Sturdy case, um, definitely offers a lot more protection than, uh, and with that neck pad in there, it keeps everything from moving around. Initial impressions, so far so good. Uh, we'll have to see how the the clips pan out. Like I said, not sure about those, and um, we'll uh, give this thing a good go over the weekend. I've got uh, playing this weekend as well, so we'll see how everything sorts itself out. All right, so we're going to give this a run through this morning just to see how this works out. But as you can see, convenient strap that makes it easy to drag around. And uh, we'll see what it looks like once we get inside, get it opened up. In the meantime, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up on the way out. If you found it informative, Leave me a comment if you got any questions or if there's anything else that you'd like to see on the channel. Thanks again for tuning in. And if you're not subscribed, just please subscribe. Thanks again. Everybody have a great weekend.